Hey everyone, we've got a great day ahead of us. We're unboxing the awesome Carl Brashear Chronograph Limited Edition by Oris. And you can see here it's got a special um, dark gray box, the warranty card, and up there is the booklet. Let's take a look at this. And this is beautiful with the, the gold foil on it. And the booklet, of course, talks about the man himself, Carl Brashear. Um, he's so cool. They made a movie about him uh, called Men of Honor. He's got a real inspirational story. Um, I'll get into it as we look in, at the watch, but let's keep going with this unboxing. Oris really stepped it up with this limited edition. Um, it's got all the little details right. You know, like you've got the black here covering this wood box. You know, it makes the watch feel very, very special. And instead of the watch, we see a bunch of cloth. Um, I guess that's because it's the bronze. There you can see the Carl Brashear uh, logo or design. Very, very cool. And yep, there it is, the wad of paper. Well, bronze is a metal that gets affected by the elements, so it came packaged to us like this. And here, with TV magic, here's the watch. This watch is simply gorgeous. Um, the bronze color with the blue, it reminds me of a, an old hard hat. Every time you look at it, and even the strap downs for the hard hats, they used to be made of leather. So the leather band, you know, you might think, hey, that's weird for a dive watch, but it kind of matches the, the aesthetic of it. Now, of course, if you wore this band all the time underwater, the band would start to disintegrate like any leather band, so uh, keep that in mind. Um, it's almost too pretty to take underwater, but if you took it underwater, the elements help give the, the bronze watch a patina, so depending on how much the person wears it underwater or what they do with it, everyone's uh, Carl Brashear watch will look slightly different in the end. And that's a really cool um, effect to have on a watch. The story of Carl Brashear is amazing. Um, he was the US Navy's first African American diver. He also became a master um, diver as well and he was also the first amputee diver um, not only that is he went through a lot of different things um, you know he kept falling down but he kept um, coming back up his story is so remarkable I can't really explain it all to you here on such a short video I mean it, what he did was so amazing they made a movie called Men of Honor and um, Cuba Gooding Jr. starred as Mr. Carl Brashear And um, this is Oris's second Carl Brashear model. Um, the first one basically sold out immediately and had a lot of the fans um, asking for more, uh, demanding some more uh, Carl Brashear watches. Uh, the bronze watch was a really cool, neat idea. And uh, it's been a very, very popular watch. This one here is the first um, series where they do it in uh, a chronograph function you know the diver 65 model with that chrono going on with it um, it gives it a real cool look so now this Oris chronograph it's a bi complex or twin counter dial layout uh, it gives it you know it keeps um reaffirming the retro look of this watch so let's uh, give you some details on the watch the watch is 43 millimeters it's a bronze case with the stainless steel case back. That's why when we flipped it over, you saw that um, that stainless steel back with uh, the, the Carl Brashear logo with the hard hat and the seahorses. This watch, like the previous Carl Brashear, is limited to 2,000 pieces. So once they're gone, they're gone. And if you take a look at the old Carl Brashear watches, they're going for a good amount of money um, at auctions and stuff right now. So this is your chance to get one. Uh, before they sell out again Now the top glass it's a high curved sapphire, so it's a domed sapphire crystal um, The the loom is a super luminova it kind of gives it an old light uh, Radium we'll take a look at it 
when I get this baby in the dark. Here you can see it on my wrist. It is an ideal size, 43 millimeters might sound a little bit large, but with this kind of um, design, it doesn't feel too big. And it's a nice watch because it's not too small where, you know, a lot of retro watches, you look at them, they, they feel a little small, but this one, they, they upgraded the size on it. And so because of the bronze casing, it's going to have a patina. Everybody's going to have their own different patina depending on, you know, what they do. It'll give it that cool um, greenish look that you see on some old uh, bronze statues. You know, this is all because the case is bronze. It, it kind of gives a whole new look and idea to watches. So this watch is definitely going to get noticed if you wear it. Um, you know, it's pretty striking. And it's a little unusual, so people will be like, hey, what's that? You know, especially if they don't know Oris or if they don't know uh, the story of Carl Brashear. It's a great talking point. So, you see the, the markers there. They're not really a, a bright white. They're kind of like, um, got a sepia tone to them. And that's to give it that retro look to continue the authenticity of the, the retro look here in the watch. So here we've got it in the dark. You see it's not a super bright loom. It's better in real life than it is on the camera, but it's got that faded um, old retro loom in it and you can see that even here in the dark. Well, hope you enjoyed taking a look at this awesome watch. I appreciate you guys out taking the time to watch this video, and have a good one, guys. Thanks.